Like, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends about me. And let's get this video on the road.
so I have some people to the to the left of me that haven't been catching any and I've noticed that they're not getting their baits out far enough um, I don't know if you can see but right about there that's the one on my finger right about there is the, the deep drop all this right here is sandbar and you can see where the water over there is starting to break that's the sandbar so you want to get your bait in that deep drop and right on the edge of that sandbar and i have been doing pretty good i've got three so far um the people on the left of me haven't caught any this guy on the right of me over here he's been catching uh, a few but he's getting out the where i'm at so also you know the way i just took my bait is a big key you want to put your sample or your shrimp on and you want to tip it you know with the fish gum uh, is what I use mostly. Sometimes I use fish bites. Um, they work just as well. Um, but the fish gum, I generally get better bites off of fish gum than fish bites. And the pop candy has been working really good for the last month. Uh, the end of this spring, right now it's May 1st. So about two weeks ago, that pop candy from fish gum has been working. I'm gonna show you. So this fish gum pop candy, a lot of people have been using it. If you look on the fishing forums, um, all around here, people have been using this pop candy and it has been working really good. It has an orange and a yellowish, almost like a fiery tint to it. And uh, it's been doing really good with the popping over. So you just wanna make sure you hook your bait differently from, from Others, you know, if, if you can see how they're hooking their bait, if you're kind of close to them, you know, just I always hook my uh, sand flea if I can hook it on the tail. If it's a big one, they have that little flap, that little tail and the eggs be underneath there. I hook it through that tail so I can keep the eggs inside of it and either I leave it plain or I tip the top with fish gum. Or if I get a shrimp, I always kind of hook it with the J of the hook and then put my fish gum on. That way you can kind of hide the whole hook from the pompano. So that's a main factor, that's a big tip, and that's a big key of catching pompano when no one else around you isn't catching them. Find those deep holes, look for those sandbars. Make sure you hook your bait. Just, just don't stick the hook on there and throw it out. In certain ways, you wanna hide the hook. You want it to, to look as free as it can and as natural as it can in the water. So those are big keys and that should help you catch Pompano but nobody else around you are. Double up. 